Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, another quick video on Chi2Box as far as um, demystifying supports a little bit. Um, we're going to go through some of the support settings and what they mean and what they do and all the good stuff. Uh, if you are well versed in this already, then obviously maybe you shouldn't be here. Uh, or, or stick around, it's up, totally up to you. Uh, if you're new to resin printing or G2Box and uh, just want to know a little bit more, then feel free to, to hang out. So I've got two models two models I'm doing uh, as an example I've got this uh, terminator bust or head half a skull and then this little example cube so I'm going to be pretty much using the example cube for most of it but there's a, a feature over here that I'm going to be diving into here so once we've got our, our cube in here I've got him on an angle on purpose so that we can see things a little bit better but you picked the model you want to support um, so you can either pick that guy or that guy or you can do it over here on, on the, uh, the right side navigation bar so I'm going to pick him and I'm going to hit the support side um, first and foremost, what I'm going to start off with is actually the raft. Um, and there's, there's not a lot to do in the raft. Uh, there's only a couple settings to play with. But so it's your raft shape is either none or skate. So none is none. Skate means I'm throwing in the skate below the part. And that would uh, encompass the entirety of the, the, f the footprint of the model if it were sitting flat on the build platform and then plus a little extra. So you can see here it says it's 110%. Um, I actually usually like this around 125. Uh, and so what we'll do is we'll actually go back to none and then we'll bring them back in. So now he's a little bit bigger. And so what that bigger footprint does is make sure that as we're adding supports, the base of the support is actually encompassed inside of the skate too. Um, so that's what, the, that's what the raft does. Uh, again, so the, you've got this thickness of one millimeter. That's just this tray portion here, this black portion that I'm on. The total raft height uh, is this whole profile here, so that's 1.8 millimeters. Uh, and then the slope, so that's the angle of this guy all the way around, is at 30 degrees. Feel free to play with that all you want. I have not had to. Uh, it has been fine. Those defaults just the way they are. The only one I play with is this ratio, this size of the raft. That's what I play with. Uh, and then so for the rest of... Um, this demonstration we're pretty much just going to be using heavy supports because they uh, show up better in the video uh, where you decide to use lights mediums and heavies is totally up to you my preference is uh, I'm typically using heavies around the perimeter of something to anchor the model to the platform uh, around the base and then I'm using lights and mediums to support smaller features uh, as needed um, totally up to you so what we'll, what we'll focus on are some of the features of each one of the shapes uh, and um, and what they mean. So here we go. We've got a we've got a shape in here. Let's go ahead and use the ticker and slice this thing down so we can actually see what's happening here at the top. So you've got these uh, four total sections: top, middle, bottom, and raft. So when we're talking top, we are specifically talking about this portion of the support, and that's it. Uh, when you're on the minimum, mi uh, oh, middle, this is talking's hard. We're just talking about this piece. And the bottom, we're specifically talking about where the support make con makes contact to the platform, the, the build platform. So back to the top. So really the biggest difference between lights, mediums, and heavies is really just the, the contact diameter, or the diameter overall. So on a light, you can see the contact diameter is a half a millimeter. Uh, on medium, it's uh, 0.8. And on a heavy, you're at, a mil you're at a one millimeter. And then the next really important thing is contact depth or I don't know about really important, but it's another differentiator where, oops, <coughs> move this guy over here. So contact depth is the depth at which the support, when it touches the model, how deep will it contact and penetrate into the model. So for heavy it's 0.6, for medium it's 3, for light it's 3. <coughs> Excuse me, and actually the, the defaults might be a little bit different. The, I, I may have tweaked these. So the, the, I think the lights typically are around a 0.1 or 0.2, and a medium is around a 0 0.2, 0 0.25 or something like that, but I've changed them all. Uh, other than them being too low in some cases, I really haven't noticed a difference between contact depth. Uh, I know if you don't have enough contact depth, let's say something over 0 0.2 or 0 0.3, you're more likely to have a failed print stuck to the build plate. <laughs> Um, and all I can think too is that there must be some black magic going on because as you look at the preview for your slice and you're looking at your slice layers up and down where the supports actually make contact there doesn't appear to be any difference between uh, 
it doesn't differentiate what's a support structure versus what your what your model body is. It's all it's either it's either black or white. It's literally black or white. So um, again, anyway, that that's what it means. So um, so your contact shape is specifically talking about the shape of the support as it contacts the model. So right now I have none. It's just a flat a, a flat plane essentially uh, touching the the model. So if you hit sphere, now you can see that I've got the sphere shape. And that's what's making contact. And I broke my own rule, so let's go back to a heavy. And sphere. So you can see that the contact shape is a sphere. Um, and where the biggest differentiator is here is in the shape, this protrusion that sticks out here, is you're, right, you're seeing sort of uh, when the support breaks off, you're either going to have a pit, which is typically left over from your flat supports, versus uh, your, a nub. Uh, when you've got something that has a, um, a sphere on the end of it. It's up to you which one you want to clean up, uh, but you'll you'll be cleaning up no matter what. Um, connection shape, so that is um, this shape specifically right here. Um, so let's let's remove all of these just to make this a little bit easier. So if we say the skate shape, you've got four sides. Um, and then you've got pyramid shape. So you've got five or six sides here, and then if you do the cone, it's just a smooth cone. That's what your connection is. So then you've got your upper diameter here of 0.6, a lower diameter of a 1.5. So that's the biggest thing. Um, and then this connection length at three millimeters, that is the length of this cone, and let's say in this case. So if you change it to something crazy like 13 uh, and did that, now you've got this uh, crazy big top portion here. I don't know why you ever want to do it, but that's why you do it. Or that's what happens when you do it. Um, the middle portion, let's go ahead and remove all of these. Not a lot of changes that you're going to make here. Um, it really just depends on, um, again, the shape. So prism, right, the shape of this versus a cylinder or, or a cube. Um, your diameter, I believe, is the base down here your total diameter base where before it touches the bottom. <coughs> um, so anything from, from right there to right there, that's your middle. Um, and then your, um, your angle, so the angle at which this can contact your top piece at 70 degrees. Uh, you can change that, you can make it 90, you can make it 20, you can make it whatever, and that's really just going to dictate what this angle is between your middle section and your top section. And then the bottom specifically is the shape of the bottom. So if we say skate, so these two are uh, basically the skate shape. If we go back over here and say cylinder, so now we've got a cylinder here, and you can say platform touch shape. So the shape of the thing touching the platform. Makes sense. Uh, it's 12, 12 millimeters in diameter. That's the size of this guy, and it's one millimeter thick. Um, now, this is I was actually got really confused on myself, and this is why I have this this Terminator model in here as well. So, model contact shape. So, if you have a heavy support that isn't just touching the build plate, but is actually touching another part of the model, that is where this section really sort of makes a difference. So you can see here, I've got a heavy support in here, and as it's coming down, it's not touching the build plate, it's actually supporting itself off another feature of the model itself. So right here it's saying, so when the bottom portion, bottom portion, uh, makes contact with the model, what do you want the contact shape to be? So in this case, I said sphere. So if we come down here and we get a point where we can actually look, it's kind of hard to see. So the contact shape inside the model is a sphere. And then you're saying the contact diameter is two millimeters, um, and the depth, so the depth that with this penetrates into the model is, is 0.3. Uh, and it's saying contact points 3. So by default, I think it will max out at 3 contact points at the bottom, right? Um, this one I think is only doing 2 just because of where it is in orientation. Um, but if it were in another position, it could spider out and do, you know, 3 fingers uh, to contact itself. So you can change this if you like. Um, so, there you go. Let's, uh, let me, let me show you something here. So let's go do a slice. <coughs> oh, sorry. 
I'm not redoing this video for that, sorry. Um, so if we go here to Slice, this is what I was talking about in relationship to contact depth and how I'm not real sure it really makes a big difference. Um, so as we come down, let's focus on the spot. <clears throat> so you can see here, this is the slice we're looking at. And even though this thing penetrates in 0.6 millimeters, there's no difference in the light, right? It's either black or it's white, literally. So it's the, the shape at which it's uh, con contacting the point. So my point being is if you did something crazy like you did a one millimeter contact depth and this thing's just you know ramming straight at home uh, inside the model, I don't think it's making a difference. Um, the point being is you need enough supports dispersed supporting the right features. The contact depth I don't think really makes a huge difference. Just make sure it's contacting. Um, anyway, that's my rant. Uh, so. Have fun. Hope this was worth it. Um, thanks for sticking around. Talk to you soon.